These barriers that you place on yourself, you just have to face them. So anything that you ever tell yourself that you can't do, tell yourself you can do it and go out and fucking do it. With that being said, if you guys can get anything from this video, I'm just a normal guy that is willing to push myself and uh, never fucking quit. What's up guys, welcome to game time. It is about four hours, five hours out until uh, we get our head in the water and we swim 1.2 miles. This is a half Ironman, which is a 1.2 mile swim, 56 mile bike, and then a half marathon. So we got about two tablespoons of honey, a banana, peanut butter, and some Dave's Killer Bread. I'm gonna eat this now, so I'll give it time to digest. It's about six o'clock, um, get in the water around 10, so I'll give my body plenty of time to di digest the carbs, make sure my glycogen levels are full, and then, yeah, we're just gonna get after it. All right, so to get the bowel movements going, we got some espresso right here, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be what I get just to flush everything out. So we're gonna hit this, and then I'm gonna show you guys my feeling for the race. I have like literally all carbohydrates on the race, liquid, gels, and some things that I can eat, which are honey stingers. I'm gonna show you guys all that. But first I gotta, gotta throw this back and do my business. All right, so I'm gonna go over my fuel sources on the bike and on the run. I already kind of got my uh, nutrition planned out before the swim, which was that uh, peanut butter, honey and banana, that's all I really need, I think. I don't have too much going through my stomach. I'm gonna sip on some water, um, just because the wetsuit's gonna be on top of me, it's gonna be tight, I don't wanna feel bloated. So I'm keeping that light. Um, I have plenty of glycogen in my body right now from all the food I ate yesterday. So we have our running shoes, Saucony Endorphin Pros. We have our uh, clip shoes, which are gonna go on the bike. The nutrition on the bike is gonna be I'm gonna try and eat probably two of these at each transition between um, the bike and the run, which are honey stingers. So I have these after the swim, and then I have these two before the run. Also, these are gonna be on the bike. In each of these, there's about 44 grams of carbs, 600 milligrams of sodium. And then I have the salt tabs, just so I don't cramp, just in case, quick emergency, I'll throw one of those back. Um, and then I'm gonna have fueling on the course. Uh, also, we have some liquid or some goos here that I'm gonna be taking on the run, um, just because they're gonna be easy. I can pull them out of my uh, little pack on the back. I have like six there, should be all I need for the run. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything for the fueling sources. As you guys can see, I've got the Iron Man tracker on my uh, ankle there and have the suit underneath which I'm gonna throw on soon um, but yeah we're just kind of just relaxing right now and and just really like getting mine right for the race so 7 10 so we got about three hours until game time We got everything in the truck, about a 30 minute drive until we get to uh, the race. Race starts at 10 and yeah, feeling a little nervous, uh, a little tense, just because you guys know how far I've came from swimming. And that's the first thing I faced is the 1.2 mile swim. So it's like, right now I'm just thinking about all the work that I've done to get to this point. And it's just gonna give me the motivation, the confidence to get in that water and just kill it because if you don't face your fears, you're never gonna overcome them. And this is what I'm doing at 10 a.m. We're gonna crush it. About two more hours. Yeah, that finished 
sign. I want to cross that shit. Manifest it. Speak into existence. And I'll happen. Believe in what you say. I'll see you guys in like six hours. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, saw, I was at the house. Yeah, right. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm nervous. Okay. And then, uh, so what should I take care of first? The bike? Yeah. Go and get then. air in the tires and okay. then put all the fuel and everything on the bike. Okay. Make sure it's all ready to go and then lay out your transition. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. I'm excited. It's going to be a fun day, man. <laughs> I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it pretty much what I have. So like, I'm gonna go. when, you get, when you get off the bike and you start running, He's Within this first like five, half a mile, like, we'll just be yelling sure. at you, juicing you up to right. get you going. We'll see you out there. Yeah, good morning, good morning, Casey. All right, so, it'll be well, fun. I'll catch All you guys out there. Yep. Nice meeting you. Let's do this. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Just know that the first day I saw you swim and you just attacked it yeah. fearlessly, I was like, this guy's going to do it. Yeah. Like, I have no worries yeah. about him at all. You've got the mindset to just yeah. get through it. Yeah, that's all you need. So just attack it. Yeah. There. Don't start too fast though, of course. Oh, yeah, I'll keep <laughs> it nice build and stuff. into it. I do. Yeah, we'll kill it. I think just like finish the swim and we're good. Yeah. I think it's happening. Oh, my bad without my shoes. Well, we have a coach here with us. You can introduce yourself. What's up? Jules, I'm coach for MBDM. He's looking great. His transition's looking awesome. Feeling good. So. Yeah, we are uh, we laid out like everything, the fueling, um, just trying to make it simple. So like my head's, when we get out of the water, I'm gonna be a little probably scattered. So have everything like laid out so I don't have to think too much and we can just get right into it and jump on the bike. And then the same goes for the run. Just make it smooth and, and easy. So, on our way to the swim, we gotta walk a mile down. Out here's the river that we're gonna be swimming in. So, yeah, it's getting real. The only thing comforting me right now is knowing that I'm the only one here that probably benches 405. We had to walk by the river um, to see everything, and I realized what 1.2 miles looks like. It's long, right? Can you see it? It's just long. Um, but, yeah. We're just not gonna quit. Yeah. We're just gonna stay the course and get after it. So it'll be good.
Epic race. Um, I'm gonna do a race recap and explain everything, but I want to go over what this meant to me, and uh, I hope this motivates you guys to chase your dreams. Number one, starting, I did the swim in 44 minutes. I biked 247, which is sub three hours, 56 miles, and my run, uh, I averaged like nine minutes for 13 miles. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is, eight weeks ago, I could barely swim. I jumped in the pool and faced my fears every damn day because I knew in order to get to that goal, the only way I could get past that is to overcome everything that I went through to get to that point. So my my idea here is, is these barriers that you place on yourself, you just have to face them. So anything that you ever tell yourself that you can't do, tell yourself you can do it and go out and fucking do it. And that's just what I want to get across the point. Like you guys can literally do anything. I, I'm limping, I'm in pain. I feel sore as shit, but I am so proud that I battled through like some of the hardest points. So with that being said, if you guys can get anything from this video, I'm just a normal guy that is willing to push myself and accomplish these things. So to wrap it up here, I want to say one thing, stay corn fed and uh, never fucking quit. <laughs>